Hi, I'm Mikey. Hi, I'm David. Hi, I'm Eve. Hi. Hi. I am Craig. I'm Eli. <laughs> hey, I'm Clarissa. And we're your A Game News and Vlog Team. I'm, I'm Alyssa. I'm Allie. I'm Kelsey. I'm Olive. I'm Samantha, and we're your B-Day team from <laughs> So this is Mrs. Carlson, and she's going to talk about BSOPs. What kind of things do you guys do throughout the all right. Well, for starters, BSOP stands for Burley Special Olympics Partnership Program. And in BSOPs, you have the awesome opportunity to work with some of our Special Olympic athletes in various sporting events, such as bowling, bocce ball, golf, skiing, snowshoeing, swimming, and lots of other fun adventures. So if you're interested in some fun memories and making good friendships, come talk to Mrs. Matson or myself, and we'd love to have you join. I'm with Mr. Jones, and we're going to talk about Drama Club. So, what kind of things do you do in drama? Uh, drama Club is, actually, you, you don't have to be an actor or like acting. In Drama Club, you can do all sorts of different things. You can build construction, like sets. If you're into costuming, you can build costumes. There's makeup design, special effects makeup design. If you like to sing, there's musical theater. It's like all over the place. It's not just about acting, but it's a lot of fun, and we compete with all the schools in the district. We have two meets. We have a district meet and a state meet, um, so we compete with everybody. And it's usually held in November and December, and that's all we do all year. We do that. So how do you get involved? You just come see me, and um, we'll decide what you really like to do, and we'll put you in one of the categories, and then you just start working on that category. Sweet. Thank you. One of our custodians and dear friends is leaving Burley High School. After many years, Francisco is retiring. We wanted to talk to his students and staff to hear what they have to say. We're with Frankie, and we're here to ask him, ask him some questions because he's actually retiring. So Frankie, how long have you been here at Burley High School? 15 years. 15 years, that's a long time. Especially just actually just working on the school and keeping it in great shape. What's your favorite thing about Burley High School? Everything? Yeah? You don't have a specific thing? No. No? Okay, Say thank you. All right, what was your favorite thing about Frankie? Well, let me tell you a little bit about Francisco. He is one of the most kindest, nicest gentlemen that you will ever meet. Every morning when I get to school, and I get to school before everybody else besides Francisco, he'll see me in the hall, and the first time he sees me, he'll be like, Heel! And I always say, Francisco, what's happening? And anyways, he always comes and talks to me, and we have a good conversation. I will miss that man. I love that guy. I feel bad about Frankie retiring because he's part of the Burley High School, and uh, he's been here for, what, 17 years now, 15 years? And uh, without his smiling face and, and uh, saying hi to everybody, it's going to be a sad day for Burley High School for quite a while because nobody's going to be able to take his place. What are you going to miss uh, most about Frankie? Well, from an athletic director standpoint, Frankie was awesome. He was set up my volleyball events, football, soccer, wrestling. He was right there to help me every time, as punctual, as perfect as can be. And I'm going to miss, miss that hardworking attitude of Frankie. He was a good man. And I'm going to miss uh, just his nice attitude. And he's always happy and he's got something positive to say. So uh, we'll miss seeing him around for sure. Hey, Frankie, I am going to miss saying hi to you every single morning. You always had a smile, and it would put one right on my face. I hope you enjoy retirement, and I'm sad I get missed your party on Friday. Hey, Jake, what should I do about my F in business math? Well... Maybe if you used uh, your bobcat block time, the half an hour between first and second periods, maybe if you used that and incorporated it with flexi schedule that the teachers are instituting this Friday, maybe you could get your grade up by signing up for that class. What the heck is a bobcat block? I don't know. Let's go ask Mr. Ray. 
We're here with Mr. Ray, and we've been hearing about FlexiSketch. Can you explain to us like what that is and what it does? Yeah, over the last couple years we've been doing Power Hour, but we had a hard time taking attendance, knowing where kids were going. Some kids didn't get the choice or were having hard times choosing where to go. So we found this program this summer that allows kids to choose where they want to go for Bobcat Block and also allows teachers to get them in to get some extra help if somebody's struggling. Sweet, can you show us how to use it? Absolutely. All right, so you can see that uh, Kelsey has logged into FlexiSketch for us. So this is what the student version looks like. It has your week, Monday through Thursday, and then each day it'll list which teachers have either requested you or which teachers you chose to go visit. Or the third option, if you don't choose either of those, you'll be defaulted to your teachers. And so you can see Mr. Milliron is the default teacher for this week only, we're learning to log in. But if you scroll down, you can see the entire schedule of every teacher and what they're doing. So for example, let's say I, I wanna to go to my math teacher. So I'm gonna type in Mr. Stock's name and see what's going on there. So I'll type in Stock over here with the teachers and I can see that Mr. Stock has academic support on Mondays, quiet study on Tuesdays, and then he, he's helping with financial math and algebra one on Wednesday and Thursday. And so if I really need help, this is where I'm going to go. But let's say I don't need help. Let's say that I want to just find something relaxing or fun to do. So Wednesday, I'm gonna type in enrichment and nothing is found. So I'm gonna come over here and let me get rid of this. And now you'll see that there are enrichments all week that I can go to. I can go to pickleball with Hill. I can go to basic French with Mr. Jones. I can do math games with Carlson. Um, there's all sorts of stuff, civics tests, makeup and missing items, just so many options. You'll notice that there's different colors for different things. So the red is to go get extra help. Blue is extra stuff. Yellow is club meetings. Green is a special event. Purple is quiet study. And orange is open office hours. This program is just going to be great for everybody to be able to choose where they go, where they need the most help, and when they need some time just to maybe relax and blow off some steam. Thank you for showing us how that works. And then also, what is PLC and how does it filter down the Bobcat block? So PLC is something that we started last year and it's called Professional Learning Community. And what it is, it's groups of teachers working to help kids. And so for example, if I was in say a science class and I was really struggling in physical science in one concept, and let's say my teacher wasn't super confident, but maybe Mr. Christensen was really good at teaching that concept. Even though I don't have Mr. Christensen, the PLC works so that Mr. Christensen would come in and be able to teach me. So with Bobcat Block and with FlexiSketch, what we're gonna do is each week, if for example, I'm in science and I'm struggling on something, we're gonna gather all of the same kids that are struggling with that, and we're gonna have Mr. Christensen or Ms. Carpenter or Mr. Young or Mr. Lechemonade or whoever teach that concept. And I may not have that teacher, but the PLC says, I just need the best teacher. And so um, it's gonna be a great thing for all kids and it'll hopefully help us get, uh, get better learning going on in the classroom. Thank you. Hey, I'm here with Bryn Seeley. Hey, what is your opinion on the new FlexiSketch and Bobcat Block? I miss Power Hour and our lunches. You heard it first. I think Bobcat Block's gonna be good. And how do you feel about FlexiSketch being incorporated into it? I think the flex sketch could be really good here and it will be good once we figure it out. It's new and we've all got to get, you know, take some, take some time for learning it. Um, it's going to be really important for students to uh, stay up on that and communicate with their teachers and, and make sure that they're getting there to try and figure it out just as much as we as teachers are as it's happening. But I think it'll be helpful. And do you think it'll be effective with the high school students here? I do think it will. Uh, you guys are responsible individuals, you know, we're at high school, you're independent, and so I think that it's going to help you guys to organize your time and get things done, and still be able to do the fun stuff you can. Hey, I'm here with Audrey and Jordan asking their opinions on FlexiSketch. Hey, so do you like FlexiSketch and Bobcat Block? No, I just want my hour lunch back. How about you? Definitely not, it's too complicated, we just want our hour lunch. You heard it. Miss <laughs> Bowers, what are your opinions on FlexiSketch? <laughs> Reporting live from the Wade's hallway with Mrs. Cooper, we'd like to ask you a couple questions. Um, what are your opinions on the new FlexiSketch? I think FlexiSketch is super amazing. I'm so excited to start using it at Burley High School. 
and do you think it'll go well with the Bobcat block with choosing teachers and everything? Yeah, I think it gives students a lot more flexibility and choices where they can choose to be academic, they can choose to get help with teachers, or they can choose to go do something fun. It all just depends on them and how much um, interaction they want to have with FlexiSketch and how much help they need with their teachers. You said it's putting the responsibility on them. Do you think it'll be effective with the kids we have here at Burley High School? Absolutely. Us teachers have trained the students so well to use FlexiSketch that it is going to rock. <laughs> Thank you, Mrs. Cooper. We're here with Addison, and she's going to tell us about her role in ISHA. Hey. So I'm on the state student advisory committee. I represent 31 schools in our district. I'm like a student voice for the schools. So like when there's an issue that occurs in the school, then like we bring it up and we talk about it. And we meet with like administrators and athletic directors, and we discuss issues that have come up in the school. Thanks for watching. This is Upcoming Sports. Go for it. For being part of the Burley Ag Department, Llama. You heard it here, folks. What are your opinions on Flexi Sketch, Miss Powers? <laughs>